Welcome back to The Big Idea. We are on the roadmap to the American dream. It's time to look at the road ahead with a segment called My Idea Will Make Millions. It's where the people who have an amazing idea, are making big bucks, and they're about to smash through the million dollar ceiling. And my next guest is on the way with a little invention called Clucky. On the road to millions, Clocky. It's an alarm clock like no other, invented by a 25-year-old MIT grad student. Clocky makes you pay for your procrastination. If you hit the snooze button, this little dynamo jumps right off the table and tumbles away to another part of the room so that you're forced out of bed to turn it off. Now, Clocky is making the big bucks, 10,000 sold and half a million in revenues. And counting. Corey Nanda, creator of Clocky. Welcome to Big Idea. Thank you. Okay, I love how folks you are because this is our, our segment of mm -hmm. you haven't made the millions yet. It's about to happen. You, you've already made a few <laughs> hundred grand and it's cooking. Mm -hmm. And this is where you put your stake in the ground and you come on the Big Idea and you go, <laughs> I'm about to make millions because I've got the greatest inventions in sliced bread. I happen to agree with you. <laughs> Tell me about the Clocky. This thing is ingenious. Well, you know, it all started because I like my sleep. I, I like to hit the snooze button over and over. I can never get myself out of bed on time. And so for me, I just needed a, a physical way to drag me out of bed, and Clocky was the first thing that came into my mind. At MIT, so. and basically, if I set it for like a minute for sure. now, and as we're talking, it's gonna go down. Basically, this is an alarm clock, that instead of a snooze, which you can keep putting and falling back asleep, when it goes off, on its own, it takes off, always goes to a different part of the room, and doesn't go off, so you have to get out of bed to turn this thing off, and it is Absolutely. genius. Yeah, I mean, the idea is you never know where it's going to go, so you have to get out of bed and look for it, and in that process, you wake up. <laughs> Love it. And you basically, this got, you You were doing the, uh, on the MIT lab, and somehow this got on the various kind of new gadget websites, the Boing Boings, the Engadget, Giz Gizmodo, people started finding you and coming to you. Yeah, exactly. Actually, I was a student at the time, and I had just made this this product for a class project, and I didn't intend on making it a commercial product at all, and I made a prototype and put it in my closet. And then a few months later, it started showing up on the oh, Internet. There it goes. Long goes <laughs> off. And... <laughs> Let's see where it's going. There it goes. And it's going to go a different place every time. Absolutely. You know, so it's now you're really sleeping. This thing goes off. <laughs> it's genius. But yeah, it's, you know, it's supposed to have some personality at least. You know, I think a lot of people, it reminds them of their pets, like their cats or their dogs. It's still and... going, guys. You can't see in the studio the way. This thing now is about, <laughs> it's about 10, 15 yards from us. Still going. And this is going to go like that until somebody gets out of bed and turns it off. Uh, yeah, it'll stop, and then you know, it'll just keep beeping for somebody to come find it. It's sort of a playing, like playing a hide-and-seek game. How basically now are you turning it into a commercial venture? Yeah, I mean, after I graduated actually from college, um, I, you know, I was sort of trying to decide how I can get this and how, how can I make this a commercial product. And I, you know, I've talked to lots of partners, but eventually I decided, you know, the best way for me to do this is to just start my own business. And I, you know, I decided to just do it on my own, bootstrap it. You know, I got family funding. Um, you know, mostly I, I do all the work myself, and I have a lot of help from my how family. Did you, how did you? I mean, once you, okay, you were an engineer, obviously. You were certainly brilliant at MIT, but how the hell did you know? How to actually turn something and bring it to market? You know, I mean, I didn't know, actually. I, I sort of learned it all from the ground up. I talked to a lot of people. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm working out of the Boston area. I talked to a lot of entrepreneurs in that area. I just got advice from them. I Eventually, I sourced manufacturers myself. I was on the line with them, you know, working on the design and the engineering. And Where can I get this of, now? How are you selling um, it? We're selling it online um, on the Internet, on our site, clocky.net, as well as through boutique shops all over clocky. the country. Clocky.net. Uh -huh. Well, I got to tell you, as somebody who spots trends for a living, mm -hmm. this thing's all mine. This thing is, this, I will bless this as the next multi-million dollar idea. Not that you need my blessing, because it's doing it already. Clocky.net, it is the perfect alarm clock. Everything you can want, in the sense of, it goes off, and it's going to not only wake you up, it's going to get you out of bed. Talk about a meta mousetrap. Absolutely. Any advice for people out there who have their own idea? They think it's worth millions. They're ready to go. Anything to get them out of bed and get going? You know, I you know I had a lot of people tell me, you know, you can't do this on your own. You know, it's going to be too difficult to commercialize a product on your own. And I would just say, you know, really go for it. You know, I've sort of found the least, inex you know, the inexpensive ways to, to make it to, on the pro on the market. And you know, it's definitely possible. There you go, Corey Nanda. <laughs> Her next million idea, I bless it. It's the clocky. We're back on the roadmap in two minutes. We're showing you that highway to millions. Don't go anywhere. <laughs>